Goes this way. They'll start the six-foot freshman, number five, Audrey Bina. A sophomore, number 11, Stella Masialius. She is from Germany. Northern Valley will counter with the 5'6 senior, number 11, Shaley Vesteca. A, ju- or a sophomore wearing number 14, she hails from Italy. Her name, Train. Charlie, Char- how do you say that? Train, excuse me. Northern Valley will start a junior, 5'8, number 12, Mary Baird. And then a 5'8 freshman for the Cougars, number 20, Emily Serrano. A 5'9 junior for Northern Valley, number 15, Austin Cox. Another freshman, she wears number 21, Elena Carson for the Cougars. And the last starter there for Northern Valley is the 5'4 junior, number 23, Braxton Cox. And for the Lady Cougars, Another sophomore, number 23, Manuela Rodriguez. Manuela is from Madrid. No, not Madrid. The other one's from Madrid, Spain. But she is from Spain. I did not get her hometown. I thought you said Brazil. Oh, that's another one. The Brazil is Julia Mendez. She is from Brazil. Mm. So with that, their, their head coach is Ted Bussey. And Elizabeth Kelts is the assistant coach. Northern Valley is coached by head coach Mitch Pugh and assisted by Lacey Hansen. Just like that, we're ready to go. We'll try not to screw up the names a little too much. Yeah, and, and you know, if you you want to correct us, by all means, we've got the tough skin. You can come tell us how it is, and <laughs> we appreciate the correction too, but we'll do our very best uh, to bring the best action we can and, and best pronunciation we can as well. Officials tonight is... Ashley, Justin, and Mark. And it's a different view here than normal here at Open Spaces Sports. We're along the uh, sideline here, right at half court, just about a few rows up as Cox goes in and gets fouled on the first one. But something different, we're in enemy territory there, Ainbert. As you look across, you're going to find uh, on our camera angle your Northern Valley faithful. <laughs> yeah, we'll see if we get tossed out of here. <laughs> Cox goes to the free throw line while she knocks in her first one. She's shooting 64% from the free throw line this year. Knocks in that first one. She actually took home the WKLL free throw shooting contest championship earlier this season. And proved it was no fluke with that first trip to the line. I like the aggression taking it against that zone defense initially. So Serrano's pass goes awry because Bina reached out with her big six-foot-tall hand and knocked it away. This time they'll get it into Stella, who will go across the court to Serrano. Now up into the middle, they find Carson, and they get into their offense against the Northern Valley man-to-man. The long jump shot is going to be no good for Rodriguez. Northern Valley's Baird pulls it down, and they'll move fast with Austin Cox. High ball screen. Austin continuing to dribble through, and now finds Bina on the wing. The Cougars in a man-to-man. Called for the travel as Stella jumped her as she was trying to uh, find that initial pass, and, and Stella Michelatis jumped in that passing lane and uh, kind of squeezed that one off, made Audrey Bean a second-guess her throw. One of the things that uh, was told is that they have improved so much from the beginning of the season till now. Yes, it's just 16 games into it. They've just got one win to show, but... Such a dramatic improvement for the ladies from the Cougars is what it was told is Northern Valley cannot capitalize on that fast break opportunity. And, and you look down there, Aim, it's it's jagged. It's baby blue. What is that thing? That is a restraining line that it's honestly hard to see from the angle we're at. Austin misses the jump shot, but she's, I thought she was going to save it, but she must have stepped out of bounds, so turning we'll it back over. We'll see how well the players see that restraining line tonight. I honestly didn't know it was there. <laughs> Michel Adis breaks the press. Goes into the corner now for Carlson, and that shot is no good. Oh. Offensive rebound, Stella puts it up and puts it in. First two points for the Cougars. Stella tried to help me with her last name, but I kind of failed with it still, even after she told me. Inside, they'll go to Baird. Back outside to Vesteca. 
Now they'll swing around. Braxton's open at the top of the key for three. Just off to the right, no good. And into the corner goes the Cougars. Stepped on the line, though. With Stella. That line must be huge over there. <laughs> Inside, they'll get it to Bina, but it's knocked away by a Cougar. And a turnover for the Huskies, and a travel call way out high will go against Train. That's one of those just first-year basketball type moves. Yep, yeah, absolutely. And, you know, she, she was looking for a guard to try to get that ball to, uh, and no one was really coming to help quickly. And you could tell she didn't really want it in her hands much longer. Really hard pass there. Couldn't get wrangled in by Baird. Huskies have had opportunities just looking sloppy in the execution early on in this one. Three-pointer away by Stell. It's no good. It was blocked by Baird. Now they'll move the ball quickly up to Bina. Nice bounce pass to Vesteca, but she missed it. Yeah. Stella grabbed that rebound, and now she'll advance the ball. Good ball movement getting out and running in front of the Cougars, just really not able to get the lid off the basket after those initial free throws. Serrano running the point for the Cougars. Back over. This is Carl Carson, and it will go off of Vesteca. Stay here with the Lady Cougars. Bina comes away with the board. Huskies have done a good job trying to get out in front here, but they have to slow things down now. Cox will fake a shot and drive in there, draw the foul. Sorry about that, Aim. You're all right. Had a little sneeze there that <laughs> might be prevalent through the night. Well, we appreciate you shutting off the mic so we didn't have to hear that one. Another errant shot from the Huskies. 2-2, two, two, two minutes into this one. As to the baseline goes Serrano, and she's fouled. Vesteca will pick it up. That is correct. It'll be Northern Valley's first personal foul. First on Vesteca. And a restraining line violation against Northern Valley. I think it was Baird who stepped back into it. That sucker is evil, isn't it? And it is just a warning the first time. But if they do it again, it will be a technical and we'll get to shoot some shots. Got to be careful. Vesteca with a steal. She's averaging about right four, four steals lately per game. In the last five, she has been thieving the ball at a very high rate. Stella comes up high, working against Braxton. Not letting her drive around. It's going to be a foul call against Stella. So Stella will pick up her second foul, right? No, it's just her first. That's good. Don't want to see anybody get into foul trouble in this one. Toll free at 866-312-2257. Cox's floater is no good. Picked up by Baird. And Stella got her hands on that one, and she'll take it. Back to Serrano it goes. Vice grip trying to play good defense here. Stella wasn't quite ready, but she did pull that one back. Inside, they'll find her again, and oh man, what a good look for the Cougars, but they could not make that one. And a turnover as Stella ripped it. These guards from the Huskies really are not working together very well right now. There's not a, uh, a pressure that they're running. It's just Stella's pestering them in the backcourt, and, and they think they're getting around her, but the long arms of Stella Michelitis so far causing fits. And Northern Valley gets this one on the errant pass. That was a great, great pronunciation. Just say it like you think you know. <laughs> it's, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> hey, it was with confidence. In with it. confidence. Muskies. Vestaka with it. Closely guarded. She'll put the ball on the floor and go inside to Cox. Now back out to Bina. All the way to the rim. Nobody picked up the big girl. If she could have dunked it, she would have. Four two Northern Valley leads. Awful quiet first quarter for both of these teams offensively. And now a steal by Bina. We'll get it over to Cox and Northern Valley's gonna try and run. 
Inside, Austin tries to go to Mary. A lot of hands on that ball everywhere. Somehow, Austin gets it back. They'll swing it around. Vesteca's open in the corner. Pump fake inside to Baird. Baird goes up through the contact and one. Nice looking shot there, Miss Mary. Yeah, really good job by Baird there, going strong through the defender's arms that came down on top of her. Correct call there. So she'll go to the line to complete the three-point play. And she does. Northern Valley remains perfect from the line here tonight, three for three. First substitution into the game for Northern Valley is the sophomore Delaney Sides. And for the Cougars, Myra Vargas, a junior, where's number 41, has entered the contest. 7-2 now, Northern Valley leads with three minutes left to go here in this first quarter. Carson inside to Serrano, where she's doubled by a couple of Cox girls. Back out top, they'll go to Carson. She stops. Pulls back, shot away, no good. Baird cleans up the rebound. Northern Valley going to push down the right sideline. Travel will be called at the high post against Baird as she was. Big supporters of high school athletics. They shoot straight and you score. Back into the gymnasium here in McDonald. When Northern Valley leads 7-2. Another loose ball on the floor, and Cox is going to come away with it, tries to split everybody. Now she just holds up for teammates, I guess. Burner dribble and didn't want to go backcourt there, so probably not a bad idea. Back to Braxton, they'll go. Northern Valley runs a little back door to sides. She's open. She'll put it in. Nice pass, Mary. Well-designed play there. They, they were much more patient waiting for that one to develop. Serrano with a left-handed dribble. Foul's going to go against Braxton Cox. Braxton picks up her second on the evening. You'll have a couple more Northern Valley games that you can catch before postseason begins, but it's getting limited as Visteca picks this one off. And now a pass to Sides. Sides is up and two for two tonight for Delaney. She's got four. Good job by, and it's going to be Husky's ball here. Is a violation. I don't, yeah, it was, I missed the initial call. As it looked like she did not get back all the way behind that restraining line. But Northern Valley, this Friday night, they will take on Rexford Golden Plains in Rexford and then a makeup game the following Monday. And that Monday's tilt is a is an early tilt as uh, the Weston Coyotes are coming to town for the last home game of the season for Northern Valley on the schedule. But postseason, there's a chance you can pick them up one more time in Almina as both the boys and girls look to have the upper seed, which will get a home game first round of Substate. Yeah, and that's still to be determined based off of probably tonight and uh, the, the games to come. I think a couple of those sub-state races are kind of tight. Cox's jumper's no good. Baird cleans it up, puts it in. Mary was begging for that ball for a long time. She eventually just had to go get it herself. Had good positioning there on the, on the offensive glass. I don't really like that call as they get Stella for the, the moving screen. That's her second. But so. she was. she was. Stella picks up her second foul. She Just a stone there. For she her. has to stay in the game. With 40 seconds to go, they find Vesteca on a cut. Open in for an easy two. Cox found her. 15 to two now, Northern Valley's kind of started to click here in this second half of the first quarter. Yeah, after a really slow first four minutes of this game, they've started to fire on all cylinders. Vesteca with yet another steal has got Bina out in front. She covers a lot of ground, doesn't she? She does it quickly, Bina scores. Absolutely. Bina in transition is difficult for any team. And Vesteca gets whistled <laughs> for her second foul. Yeah, she earned that one. 
going for a steal out top with just 10 seconds remaining in this first period. Shailen will throw it in near half court right in front of us. Checking into the game, number 34, Caitlin Vargas is a freshman as well. And she'll set the screen here to free up Serrano with three seconds and now two. Will they get a shot off? Golden Valley's got them all smothered up in the corner and they will not get one. Second quarter action has begun. They quickly get the ball into train and now they're trying to go into the corner and they do to Rodriguez and now they'll swing it around and Stella can't quite reach that one. It'll go back over to Northern Valley. Austin to go sit, Braxton to check in for her. Your turn again, another sneeze coming, I think. I, I got you. Braxton will bring the ball up the court. Find sides on the wing. Stuck in the corner there, couldn't hit sides on the cut, but she's left all alone for three, leaves it short though. Sides fights for her own miss. Long on the bunny. Ball is loose once again and it sides again. She's working hard out there. That's Stello using those long arms to just dump that ball into the bleachers as Braxton was trying to find a posting up Bina down low. But it's sure nice to see Northern Valley attack the offensive board as Vistecas three is on the way just long and yet another offensive rebound for sides. That's three in this trip. Yeah, there was a lot of contact there. I thought maybe Sides was going to get a call, but. And now Baird hustle. goes up again. This is going to go against Kyra Train, getting Baird on the arm. And that's what we say all the time. Uh, you, you want to limit the opposing team's second chance opportunities on the glass because one of two things is going to happen if you just allow them to attack with offensive rebounds. They're either going to score or they're going to get you in a lot of foul trouble or worst case scenario, a little bit of both, which we see right here. So Mary goes to the line, hits this one. You know, I kept track of stats, but I'm way behind now. As Bina pick, cleans it up, and uh, I thought Sides was going to go for an all-time record in a trip. She just missed having her fourth offensive rebound, and this one's going to go off of Braxton and over to the Cougars. But the vice grip made life hard there. Estella was working in transition, thought she was going to blow by her. I'm going to work on this score clock. It's not 100% clear here. Train at the point. Finds Stella Michelatis, and she'll get called for the travel if she was trying to make a pump fake and drive move. Couldn't get it done. Serrano going to check in. Drive move. <laughs> huh? Sometimes I laugh at how I say A it. drive move? Yeah. Don't think that's how it is. It fell back into a 2-3 defense, have the Cougars now. As Northern Valley will sw play the swing game. Find sides open. She'll go inside to Baird. Three seconds called before the shot went off. Not sure who it was against. Second, three-second violation against Northern Valley. I think it might have been on Bina on the backside. Coach Bussey barking out an offense. Northern Valley stayed in their man-to-man. -man. Jumps all passing lanes as soon as that ball is picked up. Serrano goes after her own miss. She'll step on the line and give it back to the Huskies. It's a tough position for both Serrano and Carson. Playing a lot of minutes as freshmen here on a varsity schedule. We've been there, right, Aim? We've been there. These three juniors started their freshman year, and it was a <coughs> in and out shot. It was a rough year as well, but they put it together in their junior campaign, and that could happen for Serrano and Car Carson trust into the, process, the future. Right? Into the future, it's working. That's what the Sixers say, trust the process. Yeah, well, they haven't made it work yet. It also helps if you get Joel Embiid, though, Yeah, to win some games. Jump ball called, gives the ball back to the Huskies. They will get reinforcements as the Shylin Junior High ladies won the WKLL. 
You'll love to hear that as a Cougars fan. So better days possible ahead. Nice find across the, the paint there. Kind of a, a risky pass, but unless you put some zip on it, and Braxton did. She found Mary for another bucket. 20-2 Northern Valley with the lead here with five minutes to go in this second quarter. The Steca continues to work against Serrano, making it hard for her to turn towards the basket. Train. Trying to protect that ball. Stolen by sides. Spin around will find Vesteca open underneath, and that ball was blocked, but they're going to say she got too much body, was mistrained. Yeah, from my angle, it looked pretty clean, but I don't have the best angle. It is a tough break, however, for Kyra Train, as that's her third foul. Yeah, Kyra will have to go to the bench. Kyra's from Italy, first time playing organized basketball. It's when she finds herself in western Kansas. Vesteca's second one is good. Yeah, every time I hear, you know, these exchange students coming over and, and trying out, you know, a sport for the first time, it's kind of getting thrown into the into the fire a little bit because then <laughs> they're like, ah, I just wanted to, to try it out a little bit. And then it's like, well, you're, you're probably going to start <laughs> and you're going to play a whole schedule. So, uh, you know, a little bit of trial by fire, you know, you got to tip your cap to those kids because basketball is confusing for us who have been, been watching it our entire lives and, and playing since we were, you know, four years old, five years old. <coughs> the shot is missed by Bina. Here comes Serrano. Back to Stella. Thought about a three. Now a three-pointer will go up from Vargas is no good. Bina tracks that one down, and here comes Northern Valley as they'll push with Braxton. Rodriguez works against Braxton. But Braxton puts her foot on the accelerator, finds Bina, misses the bunny, gets the board. Second chance opportunity is good. Braxton having her biggest night on the assist side the other evening. Against yeah. Brewster, she was in the books for nine assists. Rondo numbers. Vesteca with yet another steal. Out in front of everybody, she'll put it up, and the foul will go against a Cougar. That was a nice job That's by Carson. Nice job by Vesteca there going into um, the defender that met her at the block. Uh, she had the momentum with her. Sometimes you'll see her kind of hit the brakes on that and, and kick that ball back out, but I love the aggressive play. As she knocks down another free throw. Cox checks back in for Northern Valley. Bina to sit. Vargas sits for the Cougars as number 24, Mendez. Back in for the Cougars. Two for two from the line for Vesteca on that trip. Trying to find a way to get some points on the board this trip down the floor is Shy Lin. The man-to-man -man defense has been troubling for the Cougars so far. And the Northern Valley girls, they're not necessarily the longest team that you're going to see it even in the league, but they are all active. And a foul call here, so shots coming as Baird was. Baird had stepped hit. out there, Aim. Yeah, you don't usually see her shoot anything outside of five feet <laughs> but the Huskies defense is built on everyone has to, to play with that motor because uh, they don't have that advantage maybe Bina uh, would have that that kind of that length advantage but outside of that it's just everyone has to be working following their people around and, and playing their assignments that's a third foul on Carson Elena's gonna have to come out and sit the rest of this half you'd think Baird's Second shot was short. They'll get it back to her on the inside. Sides She'll continues to do an excellent nice. job on the glass. What is that? Five offensive rebounds well, for it was two Delaney. That trip, so more it than five. Three the last side. time, so that's five. We'll see where she's at from there. Braxton, good recovery. Vesteca got to stay clean. Lucky she didn't pick up the foul early, but she made up for it and fouled her anyway. Yeah, it's like, oh, you missed that one. Here, let me help you. Too much body on the baseline. Vargas comes in for Carson. 
And Joppa in for Vesteca, who's been whistled for her third foul of the half. So Angel Joppa, the senior, in for the first time tonight. Been playing a few more minutes here at the end of the season as she has started to clean up her game, and it's going to be a travel call against Braxton Cox. A nice job by Vargas there, not letting her just uh, relax with the ball in the backcourt. And a violation will go against the Cougars. Mendez stepped on the line from my point of view. And since they had a ball, it won't be a warning. It just gives the ball back to the Huskies. Just a violation, correct. Yep. yep. Sides left open. She'll go to Joppa in the corner, playing with her glasses tonight. Sides won't hesitate on this three, and she cashes it in. Seven tonight for Delaney. Been really impressed from Delaney's play. Coming off the bench in this one, you know, you say the seven points, it feels like she should have even more than that, the way she's been crashing the boards and just being active out here. That's going to be a travel against Myra Vargas on the high or the far side. Baird out, Bina in. As Northern Valley will go against the 2 3 defense here of Shylan. Working it into Bean is a good plan. Travel called, I guess, against Bina. From way outside. <laughs> Gives the ball back to the Cougars. Vargas Outside, Cox goes for the steal and gets it. Burns she, her dribble, needs to find someone to help. 147 to go. Sides in that hot hand will squeeze inside. Wow. Now a shot was blocked from Bina. Cougars to get it back. Sorry. Stella with those fouls has to go back here. And this is Serrano's jump shot in and good. That's what I wanted to see a little bit more from Serrano uh, in this first half. Hopefully something she carries over into the second half is she's had a couple times where she's uh, kind of had the jump on the defender going to the basket, but is, is uh, too quick to, to turn her back to the hoop and, and not really make a move. So foul was on the floor, but it's the 10th foul. So Bina still gets to shoot two free throws. First foul against Mendez. Northern Valley been spectacular from the line. I think they've only missed the one, maybe two, two free throw attempts here in the first half. And on the season overall, I'd say that that has been the case. Here, kind of down the stretch, they've struggled a little bit more from the charity stripe, so it's good to see them uh, cash in a little bit more of those free throw attempts here in this one. Haley Hansen coming in off the bench for Northern Valley. Haley is a sophomore getting her first action tonight. Skip pass now back to Stella. She'll go baseline, stops, lets it go. Goes off of that padding there. Now a turnover as Serrano took it and scored. Good play by Serrano. Yeah, really good heads up play there from Serrano and they're gonna give him the ball back as Joppa did not establish out of bounds far enough. Violation underneath. Let's see if they can get another basket here or two before the halftime break and take a couple bit more points and some momentum into the locker room. Inside, Stella has it ripped away from there by sides. Now they'll get it to Hanson, who's pushed down by Serrano, comes away with that basketball. They'll go inside, but over the blocked shot of Bina. Serrano looks like she's on a mission going there, driving driving baseline, doesn't she? She does. And they'll quickly put it back in. But the travel is called against Stella. Oh. Yeah, I don't. It's I like not checking that. that ball back in quick. Catch him, catch him snoozing. <laughs> <laughs> it almost worked. 
Austin Cox mans the point. They'll run swing here. Hanson into sides. Inside to Bina. Step back. Shot up and no good. Joppa looks like she'll go to the line to shoot. Yeah, she will as it was the 10th plus foul. It's two shots. They're getting her. As Joppa doesn't want to shoot him. She'll go to the line. Third foul against Stella. I thought tonight. maybe uh, Delaney Sides would shoot that three again as she was left all alone on the wing after that swing three. Yep. No need to hesitate if you're feeling it. Vargas back in. Joppa's second one is good, but we must have had a violation. Did you hear a whistle? No, I didn't hear a whistle. She wasn't shooting a three, so I don't know. Did not hear a whistle. And okay. she misses the second one, but Cox runs down the rebound. We'll swing it to Hanson. With eight seconds to go, she finds Bina underneath. A lot of contact. <laughs> too deep in there. She finally gets it to go. Pummeled by Hanson, her teammate. But they Shot get it to go goes off. in. It's kind of a sloppy 10 seconds there to end the end the half. But the Huskies take the 34 to 6 lead over the Shyland Cougars. Yes. Yes, I tried. Nicolay, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can't wait for her to make a shot here in the second half. Northern Valley will start Cox, Cox, Bina. Three-pointers no good from the Cougars. Baird and Vesteca. Vesteca breaks the press, but Stellis jumped in a uh, passing lane, and she stepped on the out-of-bounds line, giving it back. Interesting, though, coming out into the press early on in this one. Showing a little bit of aggression. I like it. A few players to watch with the foul count, particularly Kyra Train playing with three, as well as Shaley Vesteca for the Huskies playing with three. And they've gone to a 3-2 defense instead of a instead of a 3-2. Uh, oh, Cox drove to the lane where she was bumped. She'll go to the line to shoot two, just the way they started the first half. As that's the fourth on Stella. Cox thought about it forever before she took off. Yeah, they were playing that 3-2, and I think she thought the wing defender was going to slide over a little faster than they did, but uh, the lane was just there the whole time, and good take by her. Four for four from the stripe tonight. Give her f only those four points. 36-6, Northern Valley leads. High ball screen. Here comes Serrano all the way to the rim. She'll put it up and rattle it home. That is a Coach really Bussey's good. Coach has got to like that. That's a good adjustment over the halftime break right there. you got to get Serrano going a little bit more off the dribble. And I like the utilization of the on-ball screen up high. The Steka had just took her eye off of it just at the last second. It will be a turnover here for Northern Valley. Northern Valley overall in that first half did a pretty good job taking care of the ball, especially after kind of those first four minutes of the of the first quarter where neither team could really get anything going. Uh, but that's what they're going to need the rest of this game down the stretch if they want to continue to take care of businesses, to continue to take care of that ball and not uh, have a lot of unforced turnovers. Shot up and good! It's Kate Vargas, Vargas knocked it in the baseline jumper. A lot of bodies hit the floor in the middle of everything. Now they'll go inside to Baird with a good pass from. Blocked uh, by Elena Carson. Two out of three possessions ended in buckets so far. Here comes Serrano. Her pull-up jump shot is no good, but a foul will go on the clear out as they'll get trained here with this foul on the backside. So now Stella and... Kyra playing with four fouls apiece. 
Just the second foul in the half. That's not what you want to hear, Coach Bussey, because he's only got three players over there on the bench, and if this becomes a war of attrition here at the end of this game, not going to have the bodies that you're going to need. Cox into the middle lane, leaves the floater short. One and done. Carson gathers the rebound. Serrano wasting no time. He, she gets a, oh, thought she was going to get away with that travel, but she did not. Got a little ahead of herself and dragged that pivot foot. Vesteca. Now she'll go up high for Bina. Back in the corner. Vesteca's shot in the corner is good from about a foot inside the th three point line. Yeah. Ooh. I got you, buddy. My mic got flipped around on me there. Good um, shot by Vesteca, though. I like to see her get set up there on the, on the wing and take advantage of those situations. Serrano open in the corner. Now they'll go up high to Carlson. And now Rodriguez has her shot blocked. Or excuse me, that was Vargas. Blocked from Mary Baird. Back outside. Inside Serrano's free throw line jump shot, no good. Good clear by Bina. Nice offensive set there, just couldn't come away with the points. Baird left all alone if they can find her, and they do. Gets the bucket. Lucky Train didn't gather the foul there. The referee doing a good job of keeping her in the game. Yep, you want to see him play a little bit. Unless she makes it <laughs> too hard to, to not call the foul, but that wasn't enough to negate the fifth. Serrano's baseline jump shot, no good. Here comes Cox. Baird's out in front of her. She'll wiggle around, put it up and down. Nice shot, Austin. Nice work on the Euro. Nice work on the Euro. Got pinballed around a little bit there between defenders. She'll go to line to shoot one to complete the three-point play. Just the first foul against Manuela Rodriguez. Knock Austin. it in again. Still perfect from the line tonight. You love to see that. Five for five. Showing Shylin why she won the gold in that <laughs> league shootout, right? Yeah, it's probably we should call it the shootout. Man, come to us for all your marketing needs, right? <laughs> you were you were saying they needed to change the trophy that they won, and and <laughs> we're renaming the the free throw competition now. Hope the league officials are paying attention as Baird scores. Nice find by Northern Valley, but. Yeah, I'm going to guess that's falling on deaf ears, but <laughs> we can have fun with it. Between that and, and you know, surely you get a, uh, a good sponsor for a traveling free throw trophy, right? Yes. The, the, the a belt. A belt, even better. But Cox finds Braxton. Like the WWE underneath. type belt. Yeah. <coughs> you turned mine down. I turned the wrong <laughs> mic down. Sorry for everybody at uh. home. First time we're here for everything. <laughs> all, all my brain was doing was saying, turn the mic down before you cough in it. <laughs> Wrong. All good. Hope the volume wasn't that too high <laughs> at home, though. Substitutions in from both sides. Last foul went against Braxton Cox, her third. Up top, now a pass knocked away by Cox, and Bina picks it up. Dribbles out of traffic, now back to Vesteca. Push with the left hand. Into the corner, Austin's three on the way. Short, no good. She's just been off from the outside here tonight. <clears throat> she hasn't shot a whole lot of them from outside. But this three-pointer by Stella is short, no good. But you're right. All of the damage from Cox has been done on the drive and also from that free throw line. You got any Mike and Ike's? No, you got them all. That's right. Deep three by Serrano just off the back iron. Showing off that range, though. Basteca to push with numbers. Northern Valley 
Kicks it over to Cox, wiggles around, puts Another it up. Another Euro. Another pretty Euro. And Austin's going to come out. Looks like she was uh, bleeding kind of by her eyebrow. I saw it down here on the other side. I missed it. Billy. Zoom in on that sucker. On her, on her eyebrow? Yeah. I'm going to bring the basketball action, but if they give us a break and I got it, I'll, I'll do that. It looked like she might be uh, actually bleeding a little bit from there. I, yeah, I think she is. Not sure what it came from. You can ask her later. We can bring you that after-game report. Yeah, I know where she's going to ride home. Sides with a hot hand so far tonight, but misses this baseline jumper. Serrano comes away with the rebound. Visteca picks her up at the point. Tries to get it in to Stella. Picked away by Baird. We'll see if she just takes it coast to coast. Runs into a lot of contact there from Serrano. Cleaned up by sides. Miss offensive rebound. She is tonight, that's for sure. Six. Yeah. <laughs> and that's that's not being probably facetious. That's actual. <laughs> is it only six? It feels like it should be way more than that. Well, I think she, I know she's at least got six. It's going to stay. Oh, it's going to be a Huskies ball. It's tipped out last by the Cougars. This Miss Austin uh, cut on her head as Visteca goes in and knocks it in. Stepped up a game. We've got Miss Jessie Tallheim over there. The, ja if, the jack of all trades. Yeah, see if she can run a cross stitch across her face. <laughs> yeah. Maybe she'll ask for a lightning bolt. Or just some super glue. That'd be pretty sweet, though, a lightning bolt yeah. a stitch. It'd be a killer scar. Foul called on the floor as Serrano was trying to drive. It's going to go against Vesteca, be her fourth foul. Jesse, I thought, was going to come over here and talk to me. I don't know where she's going. They're trying to get the bleeding stopped and I suppose a bandage on it so she can get back into the game. I doubt it. I think she's done. I think it needs stitches. Hmm. Been there, done that, girly. Yeah, but she scored with it. She did score after she was bunked in the eye. If it happened. To, I had to guess it was a uh, rogue elbow. <laughs> Braxton didn't like that call. And now a three-pointer by Serrano is no good. Chapa with a rebound. Trying to get out in front. They find Braxton Cox. She gets it to Mary Baird. Fouled, and the shot will be counted. Good shot there by Mary. Puts it in. Good sharing of the basketball from the Huskies. Eyes up, getting down the floor, using their numbers to work that defense. Probably we'll start seeing some substitutions into this game as we didn't play JV here tonight. So the Huskies should have some fresh legs. Brooklyn Sherman into the game as well now as Catherine Spear. She's going to check in for Mary Baird if she makes this shot. Mary will make it. She's been hot all night. Unless she wants to keep playing basketball. Yeah, I heard uh, Coach for Shilla the other night on the radio going, I never like to check somebody in for that. Because subconsciously, you know, everybody kind of really wants to continue to play, right? I think Mary cares a lot more about her free throw percentage. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you know, we all like to say that, but you're thinking to yourself, well, I if know. I miss this, I got to stay in, right? Yeah. But what do you get? Another 45 seconds is the steal by sides. Joppa's out in front, but they're trying to find her here. Bounce pass into Baird, goes through traffic, puts it up, no good. Brooklyn Sherman with an offensive rebound. Make it two. Make it two. And now sides, no good. And that'll carry us to the fourth quarter action. Northern Valley leads 55-10. Aggressive. As there was no JV games tonight, Aim, so yep, this one's going to be turned over by Landry. And they'll go back to Shylin and the... The clock should be rolling as a 30-point game. 
clock will not stop unless there's a timeout. Gephardt stuck her hand in there, about had a steal. Here's Rodriguez at the top of the key. Three-pointer away by Carson is no good. All but made that shot, it rattled in and out. Spear with the rebound, now they'll get it back to Hanson. Like to see some execution here by Northern Valley's. Two turnovers in the first two offensive possessions for the Huskies JV. So they'll go back with Rodriguez. This is Vargas in the corner, now back to Carson. Vargas throws that one up, no good. It'll go off of Vargas and out of bounds. It's usually that was Mendez in Northern Valley to get it back. Vargas to sit. Serrano back in. See if they can find Sherman at the low post, and they do. Nice turn and shoot there, but she was a little too deep after her post move. Joppa doubled up. Back to Hanson. Gephardt goes inside to Spear. Now they'll work it back around. Hanson to Joppa, open, she gotta be ready to shoot. High post, now back to Gephardt. Ball movement is key right now. Inside they'll go to Sherman. She'll turn and shoot and score. She hesitated a little bit on that one, but finally realized that she can shoot over the defense. Made it happen. And she did. She's become a much more proficient scorer as the season has, has gone on. And scoring on the interior is Train. Off of that offensive rebound. Joppa inside to Gephardt. She'll turn, she'll shoot, miss, but Hanson's there. She'll miss that one. Into the corner, Spear picks it up. She's got a dribble if she wants to use it. Does, they'll go into Sherman on the interior. Up, no good. And coming away with it is the Cougars. Serrano. Gets the ball in the corner to Carson. And she will get fouled by Joppa as she tried to drive baseline. Another one coming. <laughs> oh, you got your own mic turned off this time. That's good. That was just Joppa's first foul of the evening. Team fourth of the second half. Nice job by the Cougars finding Carson inside, but can't get it to go. But Vargas gets the steal. Finds Serrano. She's doubled up by a, a couple of Husky defenders. Back out to Vargas. Serrano has it and slows things down. She'll get the ball to train. Nice quick shot jumper there by Serrano. It's going to go off a Cougar and over to Northern Valley. Went off of Kaitlyn Vargas last. Hanson. Now to Joppa. Dumps it in for Gephardt. Has that ball blocked by Serrano. Really good move by Miss Emily Serrano. She'll go over the on-ball screen. Now she'll try and make her way baseline. Runs out of territory. Shot up, no good. Gephardt with the rebound. Hanson tries to run it down and does. Now she'll go to Sherman. Up the floor to Spear. And she is called for the travel now. <laughs> I don't know how. I haven't understood a lot of the traveling so that have happened tonight. 
Well, we traveled almost two hours to the west. I got that one. That one was easy to figure out. It was reset as it went off of the, the rim. So no over and back violation. Serrano looks inside. Now that shot is blocked by Sherman. Tough task for the freshman Vargas shooting over Sherman. Sherman stands six foot three on the interior. Three pointer away by Hanson's no good. And they might be jipping her of a couple inches, I don't know. Foul will go against Landry Gebhardt. She was trying to fight for that rebound. Clock still ticks away. We're now at two minutes left in this ball game. After this, we will bring you the varsity boys action as there is no JV for them tonight either. So two top 10 teams in the state will go against each other for the first time this year. A matchup a lot of people thought we would see there in the league tournament. Jampa uses her speed to free up. Yeah. That one I agree with. I agree, but <laughs> the point? You got to teach them. No. <laughs> Serrano burns her dribble, has to find someone, which she does. She found Mendez. Can't get tracked down after the long rebound attempt. They'll go back to the Huskies. Under a minute. Joppa at the top. Cross is over. She's exceptionally quick. Yeah, one thing I'd love to see Joppa implement a little bit more is, is she is exceptionally quick. And if she can be confident and confident in her, her dribbling skills, I mean, she could drive from that wing and do some damage on the offensive side. She's got the speed, she's got the hops. Finally, inside for Serrano is no good. Another rebound by Sherman. Here Joppa is, she must have took that personally and she uses that speed, finds Spear at the backside block. Misses the shot, we're gonna have a jump ball as Vargas and Spear fight for it. So aim with only six seconds to go here. You should get a shot of Austin over there so her grandma at home okay. isn't so bad. she got a couple, looks like a couple butterflies on the side of her face. Hey, that's what happens when you wear boxer braids, right? That's right. <laughs> you look, she looks like she's been boxing instead of playing basketball over there. Northern Valley Elite wins this one 59-12. We'll be back with your recap of tonight's game before we bring you your varsity action after this. <laughs> 